Welcome back to Optitronics, and today we will discuss the difference between photogram sheet versus a tabletop 3D scanner like the Ironscan SPV2. But right before we begin, I want to give a shout out to 3D Wonders for providing me this test unit. If you're looking for your next 3D scanner, definitely check out 3D Wonders. I'll leave the link down below. Now a little background, before I was introduced with a tabletop 3D scanner, I was solely shooting photogrammetry for most of my 3D models. I went through various uh, filters, cheap to expensive as you can see. Also depending on the work, I went through a variety of lenses, DSLR to mirrorless, wide angle to telephoto. When it came to small tabletop objects, I had to rig my own macro light. And also I tested a variety of cameras from one inch sensors to micro four thirds to crop and full frame. And as my camera setup started to grow, so did my tripod. I went from a lightweight tripod to a very sturdy tripod because my camera setup was front heavy. Once the camera setup was completed, I went from a manual turntable to an automatic turntable. And this is only if your camera can support the automatic turntable. So definitely keep that in mind when you're purchasing your own camera setup for photogrammetry. And of course, last but not least, your storage. I went from micro SD to SD to CF Express card to CF card. You name it, I went through all of that when growing into photogrammetry. Now, when 3D Wonders contacted me and introduced me to the Einscan SPV2, I was very skeptical. The unit came with a turntable, scanner, bracket, USB cable, tripod, power adapter, and for your storage, you must use your own computer. And that was it. It was just very straightforward under one price tag. Now the setup was quite similar for one another. You set up the platform and the camera or scanner unit. Once set up, rotate the object and take your data. When capturing data, the scan is automatic, but photogrammetry, if you don't have an automatic spinner and a camera that can communicate with it, you will have to manually turn the object every 15 degrees to take a photo. Now, Ionscan comes with a free software, Xscan, whereas Agisoft has a variety of versions to choose from. I know there's other programs out there that are free, but in this example, we'll use Agisoft since it's my primary photogram sheet program. Now, the final alignment for the tabletop took about 48 scans, 16 scans in three groups. The photogrammetry took exactly 600 shots at 24 megapixel. Now, the processing on the Agisoft took much longer than Xscan by a whole lot, and this also remains true when building the mesh. Now, here is your final model with texture, and here is your final model without texture. Now, when it comes to scale accuracy, I will say that the Einscan SPV2 is more accurate right off the bat over the photogrammetry. For photogrammetry, you would need to introduce a scale bar, which will cost a lot if you're looking for serious accuracy. The Einscan SPV2, you do not need a scale bar. Now, with that in mind, here is a close-up in Blender. I'll leave you guys to it. I scaled up the photogrammetry model to match the 3D scan model. In my honest opinion, if you're needing to work on landscape and huge large object over 12 inch, photogrammetry is the best for that. If you're looking for a quick table scanning solution where accuracy is involved and the object is under 12 inch, a tabletop scanner like the Einscan SPV2 would be definitely perfect. Now, if you're looking for a scanner to scan larger objects or even environment, definitely check out 3D Wonders. They have a whole variety of different scanners. Now, with all that said, I want to thank again 3D Wonders for sending me this unit for testing. Definitely check out their store and YouTube, and I'll leave the links down below. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy. Peace.